bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Barbara Rogers. I'm on location today in the Coyote Hills Regional Park, which is a part of the East Bay Regional Parks District. Joining me now are Nell Robinson and Becca Von Baron. Becca is a disability rights attorney, and Nell is a producer with Soldier Stories. Thanks yes. for coming by. And Thank you. of course, my first question is what is Soldier Stories? Soldier Stories is a musical benefit concert at the Freight and Salvage on Veterans Day, November 11th. And it's an evening of music. Um, from the Revolutionary War to the present uh, with themes of brotherhood, uh, loss, sac uh, sacrifice, um, love, humor and satire, all sorts of music um, in Americana string band style um, to honor our veterans and to bring some attention to the fact that so many veterans are coming home from war with very little care. So how did you get involved with this? I got involved because uh, I come from a long line of uh, veterans in my family, starting from the Revolutionary War. And, um, and I have good friends and family who have been in Iraq recently. And I'm, uh, I'm very concerned about um, sending our soldiers off to war and then forgetting about them when they come home. Becca, now you are a disability rights advocate's attorney. How are you involved with this whole project? At Disability Rights Advocates, we started a class action lawsuit back in June of 2007 to try at a systemic level with Morrison and Forrester, uh, um, another uh, uh, law firm, mm -hmm. um, to address on a, a system-wide level some of the um, failings that the, de the Department of Veteran Affairs has in terms of adjudicating veterans' claims when they return home. And just more broadly, disability rights advocates through litigation, direct services, and a whole bunch of other legal um, frameworks is trying to address some of the failings that um, we see is happening when veterans come home. Now you will be the beneficiary, disability rights advocates, of the funds that are raised from a soldier story, correct? That's correct. Right. And you were telling me before that one of the things you really are addressing is health care issues and I said I thought those were already being taken care of by the Veterans Administration, by the VA hospitals and you had a surprising answer. Yeah, we disability rights advocates really wishes that that were the case. Unfortunately, we have record numbers of veterans returning from Iraq and Afghanistan with post-traumatic stress disorder, with traumatic brain injuries, with all sorts of wounds of, of war that aren't being taken care of. There are more than 600,000 claims pending in front of the Department of Veterans Affairs. The number of veterans who return and end up homeless is, is shocking. The number of veterans who return and wind up unemployed, lose their family stability, wind up self-medicating, um, clearly point to the fact that the Department of Veteran Affairs isn't picking up and isn't honoring the promises they've made to veterans. Now, have you done this kind of benefit before? Yes, we have. We had our first benefit on Memorial Day in 2009. And um, it was a terrific success. We worked with DRA and Swords to Plowshares in that event. And um, I think one of the points that we really want to make is that um, we may not have made these policies that have sent us to war, and people may or may not agree with them, but that's irrelevant. The point is, is that we've got thousands and thousands of veterans coming home who need our care. And um, if each of us thinks about it, we have neighbors, we may have family members, we may have uh, thousands of these folks in our own communities, and we just hope that on Veterans Day this year, we don't let them be invisible to us, and we do something to show that we, that we care. Okay, and again, this takes place on Veterans Day, and at what time? At 8 p.m. at the Freight and Salvage in Berkeley. Okay, thank you both for being with me today to tell thank us you. about a soldier's story and about what you're doing with disability okay. rights advocates for veterans. And thank you for joining us for another edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I hope you'll be with us again next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.